Hi, welcome back to Big Bill's Garage. My wife has given me a not so subtle to-do list for the rest of the season of Big Bill's Garage. And as you can see, number one on that to-do list is the kids' bikes. And way over here is the adult bikes. We're gonna work on the kids' bikes today. But first, let's double check and see the condition of all of them. And for the next few videos, basically what we're gonna be focusing on. So about a year ago, I decided to go out and find a bunch of bikes that were in mid to decent shape. The one that's in the best shape actually is my wife's uh, little street light puppy that she has here. And so I think all we need to do is just air up the tires and then this one can get on the road. After that, we can move on to Jax's bike, which is in the uh, next least worst shape. It's just a little BMX mongoose. Um, brakes just need to be adjusted and we need a front tire, which I think I'm gonna rob off of Zachariah's bike which is this one right here. This one needs a lot of work. This one's been uh, kind of through the ringer in my family. Uh, it's definitely gonna need the brakes adjusted. It's gonna need two, a tube in the front as well. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna borrow the tube out of this one to put it into Jackson's bike, just to get Jackson's bike done today. And then I'll go down and order the new tube. I've already ordered new pegs for the rear and I'm gonna um, bust out my rust solution uh, which is called Enviro Rust, and I'm going to try to get rid of as much of this rust as I can, as well as using my trusty PB Blaster for the chain. And I bet you're asking yourself, what kind of bike does a 400 pound man ride? Sadly, it's this one. It's all I can afford because it was free. And this one's going to definitely need two. It's going to need brakes. The brakes are not even connected here. When I did try to do a test drive on this bike, brakes didn't work at all and I almost landed in traffic. Which honestly, if I was hit by a Honda, I probably would have done more damage to it than it would have done to me. It would have just been like, you know, that'll buff out. So, all that said, I think this bike is gonna be done last. Yes, we will find that white whale. The back tire seems to be inflated pretty well on my wife's bike. This one though, for some reason, whoever put this together doesn't exactly have the stem in this correctly. So I'm gonna try to see if I can pull that out. It's got a little bit of air in it, but I'm guessing it's probably around 10 PSI. It needs to be at 40. Uh, if you're wondering where I got my uh, PSI range, I wanted to be at 40 PSI, which is in, indicated right here. Inside of each uh, bike tire, it actually tells you what you should inflate it to. This one actually does say 40, and that's kind of what I'm going for. Everything else works. Um, the brakes seem to stop just fine for this type of bike. She's not going to be going a million miles an hour. And there is a bit of rubbing going on. And I think it's on this chain guard right here, which just means it's got to bend it out a little bit. The other thing too, that tire looks like it's a little bit out of whack. There's a spot right here. Oh, I found it. Her bike tire is a little bit off the rim. So what I'm gonna have to do is deflate this and then push down as hard as I can and try to get that back seated to the rim. Now it's gonna get loud, so when I hit this switch right here, all you're gonna hear is the sweet sound of music. Let's see if it'll rotate properly. Yeah, there we go. So now it's not gonna walk, walk, walk. All right, so it looks like the next thing is this dust cover is just bent out a little bit. Just kind of like sheet and sheet metal, so I just gotta bend it forward for her. That should do it, so that clunk should be gone now. Yep, the brakes work just fine. I think her cruiser's just about ready. Now onto that tire. All right, so one of the tricks that I've learned over the years is that if the stem isn't quite seated properly, sometimes you just take a pair of pliers and just pull it right out. Just gotta wiggle it a bit. Ow! Ew. Almost had to reset the injury counter there. I 
could deflate this tire. Oh, it smells like when grandma died. So when you do this, as you can see, I can now manipulate the stem now that there's air out of it. I think that this might just be a short stem. It's just, it's not the size of the stem, it's how much air it could hold. Before I add air to it, I just wanna make sure I can throw this back on because I did kind of mess with it a little bit with that uh, plier. Seems to be working fine. I smell barbecue. You know, I think we should do barbecue tonight. I just gotta sing it for you. We want the smoke. Gotta get that smoke. All right, so I'm just holding the stem up right here. Sometimes you need a little assistance when you're trying to hold it up. And back to the music again. And I just only have a concern about this stem now. Now that it's been riding inside that rim like that, this has a lot of damage to it. So there is gonna be a tube change in the future on this one. So now that everything's kind of buttoned up on this thing, uh, there's a few little things you gotta do like rust repair and everything like that. But for now, this thing is good and she can go take it out for a ride. I will really, really appreciate the fact that you are watching Big Bill's Garage. Uh, these little videos don't have anything to do with cars, but they do have to do with things that we work on in our garages. Men, the garage is our holy sanctum and whenever anybody needs our help, this is where we work on it. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like this, you can go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment down below. It really helps out with the algorithm. And uh, if you want to see more bike videos, I've got three more coming up, and they will be coming up in the next few weeks. So stay tuned, and you guys have a great day out there.